when you were at San Diego, someone came to you and said, what about a textbook? How That's did right. that uh, evolve into brown walls, heart disease? Well, uh, so uh, Charles Friedberg was the author of uh, Saunders' uh, book. It was the leading textbook of cardiology. And single author. Single author, that's right. And he died um, um, uh, tragically of an automobile accident. Um, and um, I had known him and I had known his wife, who was his uh, editor. Um, and uh, he was in the midst of preparing his fourth edition. And uh, so uh, uh, Saunders uh, uh, management uh, uh, came to see me and uh, asked me that, uh, that Mrs. Friedberg had thought that uh, Charles would want me to finish it. Mm. Well, um, I said, well, let me see what there is. And I looked at it and uh, I said, that, you know, we're, the personal components are so powerful here that it will look very stilted. I said, so I can't give you a Friedberg. But I might give you a Braunwald. <laughs> so um, um, I thought about that some more. I moved to Boston, and uh, they asked me to do it, and I said I can't because I took on a new job. And I said, but uh, I promise you that, uh, uh, that you'll have it in seven years. They said, seven years? Why is that? I said, because Harvard has a sabbatical policy and they really take it seriously. And you put in six years and then you can have a sabbatical the seventh year. And so I, I took a full year off. Mm. Um, and, and that uh, was the first edition. And that was the first edition. I worked very hard. I, I wanted to unify things. So therefore I ended up writing about half of the uh, chapters. Yeah. Um, and, uh, 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 and what I tried to do is uh, is textbooks tend to be fragmented. And so I was, I couldn't write a single authored book. I really wasn't up to that. But what I could do is I knew each page of the book. So therefore, uh, there was no redundancies. I was able to refer one chapter to another. I was able to cut out things from entirely. So, uh, uh, and it was a, um, uh, it was in some way. A smasheroo way, from the well, first it, edition. Yeah, it was an exhilarating experience in one sense. It was also very tough. I, uh, um, I, people were very good to me at Harvard and at Brigham. I, uh, uh, I didn't go out in public. I didn't shave. And, uh, <laughs> and I would go into the office, but it would be in the evening about once every two weeks to meet with the financial person in the Department of Medicine to make sure that the finances right. remained intact. And then I was yeah. thrilled when yes. you invited me yes. to participate in the second edition. Yes, and that was terrific. Yeah, in the second edition, uh, uh, Doug, you, uh, you took over the electrophysiology and the arrhythmology, um, and you rescued that, which was, uh, it was one of the parts of the first edition of which I was less proud. Well, it, it was a, a, a thrill and, and one of the highlights of my professional career to have worked with you yeah. beginning then and Yes, and then of forward. course, yes, then moving forward, uh, you came on as a co-editor and uh, you have uh, been editor-in-chief on a couple of editions and uh, going strong. And, and you've made an enormous contribution uh, t to oh, the it, book. It's it's been wonderful, and, and you've been such an incredible role model, delving into every aspect of the publication that really has taught us a great deal. And now as we move into the electronic age, we've created this new website called Practice Update Cardiology, uh, where we uh, synergize with the book, the mother book, Heart Disease, yep. and uh, uh, indeed present information uh, that is current, but has its basis in the chapters of uh, heart disease. Yeah. So uh, I think what we're aiming for, uh, we're aiming for having a living textbook. And I think that there are a lot of factoids out there, but they need to be connected to something. Yeah. And on the other hand, the something, the basic knowledge changes. 
because we come to a meeting like this, you hear about 30 or 40 different things yeah. that uh, need to be put in. But um, uh, so if you don't put them in, you've got an outdated book. If you just have them floating around without any connection to the text, they are not of much value. So it is a hybrid. Right. And but again, you've led the way with that because you created the updates mm -hmm. long before we did this uh, uh, new website. Yeah. Uh, you created a living textbook uh, with uh, heart disease. Yeah. And it's been very exciting. And I think uh, readers indeed benefit from the established foundation that is updated so frequently. Yeah. Well, and then we also have moved into the companions. Exactly. And you have uh, uh, edited uh, a premier companion on arrhythmology. So, uh, so it starts with the mother book. It then goes to the electronic new information a lot of which will come from this meeting here. And, um, and then uh, your practice updates. And uh, then it also moves out into the specialty books, of which we now have nine. And so we're thinking that this is more of a learning system in cardiology yeah. as opposed to a book. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is uh, the way I would like to leave it someday. Personally, I've had some wonderful highlights in my professional career, but one of them was meeting you so many years ago, working with you all of this time. You've been a role model, an inspiration, someone I could go to for advice, uh, such as leaving one journal and starting mm -hmm. a new one called Heart Rhythm some years ago. Yep. And it's just been a, a well, wonderful Well, it's been thrill. a pleasure, and, uh, and uh, as you recall, Doug, I tried very hard to recruit you to uh, <laughs> yes. to Harvard and uh, and uh, uh, your alma mater, and you almost came. We did two visits, That's looking right. at houses. That's and, right. You almost came. Right, but it's been wonderful, Gene. Excellent. A great pleasure. Thank you. Yeah.